demonizing is it's creating this sense of us and them. And it, it divides, you know, and it keeps this gulf wide. It happens a lot too if you are, if you don't welcome your own wound, then you're going to despise the wounded. If you don't welcome your own brokenness, then you're going to uh, be uncomfortable with the brokenness in the world. Only place on the planet where soup gets applause. <laughs> Bakery. Today we have um, coconut. I, well, I was born in Los Angeles. I was educated by the Jesuits, so I thought they were prophetic and hilarious and I like the combination. And that's enough. And then I said, I'll, I'll have what they're having and so I joined La Compañía de Jesús. One tutor for today, that's going to be Anne-Marie. <laughs> Bolivia was what preceded my time here, mainly, where I was kind of a missionary. and uh, But I've mainly been in the barrio and connected to either Dolores Mission as pastor. Dolores Mission at the time was the poorest parish in the city. It had the highest concentration of gang activity, which I didn't know till I got there. So in those early days, in the terrible days, uh, from 88 to 98, you know, it was all I, all I spent really was time in hospitals with the wounded. There were so many wounded all the time. Harder to retrieve what that was, but it was intense. So I buried my first young person killed because of this sadness in 1988 and I buried my 200th kid this morning. Yeah. So you could either bury your head in the sand or roll up your sleeves. So we said, let's let's try to do something about this. So buy this old abandoned bakery. We'll put enemy gang members and hair nets, and they'll bake bread, and we'll call it Homeboy Bakery. That was the extent of my business plan. And there you have it. To now, this is the largest gang intervention rehab reentry program in the world. The folks uh, won't reoffend again if they've been healed, if they somehow have gone through a period of transformation where they come to terms with what they've done in their life and come to terms with what's been done to them. The hope in combating demonizing is to get to a place where you can uh, stand in awe at what the poor have to carry rather than in judgment at how they carry it. Anytime you stand with the poor at the margins, then you are at a place where you can uh, see, really see people, see them as they are. And then, uh, and then your life is transformed because you're with them. And then your wound meets their wound and your brokenness, brokenness encounters their brokenness. And then it's healing.